Whew. That took some time. I need to figure out why this piece does not go down really easily. I think something needs to be adjusted, but I got my chains on. Everything's up. Just doing a check. I got my new, what is this thing called? Hitch thing with a cover because the last one, I just couldn't get the key to work. It just wouldn't work. And there was probably just little grains of sand in there. And so I got one of these, a master lock that has a cover so dirt and grime and road junk does not get in there. So that should be helpful. Got my bike and it is getting really windy so this should be interesting oh, why is it so much work <laughs> make sure you have all your little chalks and stuff undone make sure everything's closed up and locked all right i got my new sticker on there in texas you have to have just registration i do not have to have this inspected just a registration I believe if it's under 4,000 pounds. All right, I got everything secure. Whew. I don't know, am I the only one that gets stressed out about doing this stuff? Maybe it's because I'm by myself. I don't know, I just kind of double check and triple check things. I know that's a good thing to do, but I don't know. Okay, and of course we're dealing with construction, but that's okay. I'm fixing to cross I-10 here in Bernie. And of course I was in the wrong lane and I had to put my arm out and the lady was so nice to let me over. <laughs> so, God. Uh. <laughs> it was very windy last night. Like really windy. <laughs> it's starting to pick up again. But I'll show you another my rookie mistake number 500. <laughs> I pulled in, then I backed in more. I got it all nice and straight. Look at the potential problem. Look. Ugh. My stabilizing jacks, I don't think are gonna clear that. So I've gotta figure out, do I wanna pull up a little bit and put those down or just not worry about it? I mean, I'm only one person. I put the front ones down, but you, I really don't notice. But it's just like, ah, dang it, I didn't even pay attention to that. So something to be aware of. Don't back up to where you can't put your stabilizing jack. <laughs> and the river is down there. This is, since this is the newer part, it is, it's one thing that's good, it's quiet, but it's away from the, you know, I guess it's the camp store and the uh, canoe and kayak checkout. But I see some trash down here and it's windy, so I know stuff's blowing around. I just picked up a trail map that blew into my area. Pick up this piece of trash. See something over here. Oh, I see a couple things. Oh, I see several things. What the heck? A cup. And a lid. Look at this. Some little animal got this from somebody's camp garbage or whatever and took it off. I see this a lot at my mom's house. The foxes pick up stuff and take stuff off. Oh, there's a house over there across the river. Neat. This, this looks pretty nasty. This looks like someone's bathroom facilities. Ugh. A ball. Yeah, that's exactly what that is. There's more paper towels back there. <sighs> 20 miles an hour, peeps. This definitely is a large park. It's in two separate areas. The one where I'm at, at one end is like a regular campground. You know, it's quiet, regular campground. But this area that looks like, I think this is obviously the older part, this place is like a carnival. I mean, I swear there's so many people and so much going on down here that I would not be surprised if a live band was playing somewhere. It is just crazy. 
it's like an amusement park down here. It's packed. Well, that's, a, that's a good thing. I mean, Texas State Park System is definitely making their money on this park. I mean, there is just tons of people. Cabins on the right, that's all full. You got tents off there. It's just a lot going on. You know, a lot of people have a, a tent next to the cabin. It's just crowded. Really, I'm shocked as crowded as this place is. I mean, I've picked up lots of trash, but it looks like it's to be, you know, a lot of it's blown. And then a lot of that toilet paper in the back. But other than that, as many people as go through this place, it's actually pretty clean. See there, it says falling rocks. See, that's what they're supposed to say. Falling rocks, not fallen. Okay, I just <laughs> saw some turkey. birds. Wow. I know, you can hear me. Look at him, he hears me. Wow. Look at that big comb here and down. Is that what that is, comb? Wow. They are giant. You just don't realize how large they are. Three feet long from tip of their beak to their tail, easy. God, they look prehistoric. Well, they are. Pretty. I guess you're a boy. I got a better view a little bit closer before the cars come. I just got up to the bird blind. There's a painted bunting. Thanks for watching everybody. I know this wasn't an exciting video, but I just wanted to show you some of the other things that I saw while I was at Garner State Park. Mainly the birds and the turkeys. It was kind of neat. And look, they have actually have a sign about the hog action. 